everybody, it's Tox from Crits Happen. Thanks for watching and welcome back. We've got a quick critical question of the day for you, and this one I think is going to be very different. Um, so I like abstract games. I like games like Rise. Uh, I like games like Onitama. I like games like Pyramix, which I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, but my question for you today is going to be this. For those of you that play abstract games, when does an abstract game stop being an abstract game. Now, I've heard many different ways that people describe what an abstract game is. Some people describe abstract games as two-player games that rely more on gameplay than on thematics. I've heard people say that they can be very heavy on thematics and they are more around the mechanics. So I'm curious what you consider to be the line where an abstract game isn't really an abstract game anymore. So for example, Pyramix is a game from Game Right that we've been playing a lot of. Uh, now I'm going to take a second and we're going to do a nice little fade through and I'll show you what the game looks like. So out of the box, this is Pyramix. And the idea of Pyramix is that you're going to be pulling things off the pyramid and dropping cubes down. Now, there's onks, which are worth only one point. There are cranes and there are eyes. But you'll notice there are also cobras, and there's specific rules about when you can pull things off, if they're attached to a cobra or if they're not attached to a cobra. What's going to happen, though, is sooner or later, as you keep pulling these things off, you're going to get down to where only one layer of items are available, or maybe two layers of items are available, and the cobras are blocking you from taking things off and you're going to end up in a position where whoever has the most of each color onk is going to get the remaining colored items of that same color off of the board. So for example, if at the end I had the most green onks, I would get any green items that are on the bottom. Now the trick is, is once you get down to that last level, you're not allowed to take this one off. So that would actually stay there. It's a really fun game. It's a game that I consider to be an abstract game, and it's a game that has a pretty interesting thematic to it. I mean, it's a interesting physical design, and it is a fun mechanical design, and it's a game that you can play with kids because it's colors and shapes, or colors and images. So I consider this one of the more fun abstract games that we play right now. So I'm curious, do you consider this an abstract game? Because I've had some people tell me, no, it's not an abstract game at all because it's got a real heavy theme to it. So where do you think the line is drawn between an abstract game and not an abstract game? Let us know your thoughts. Leave a comment below on the YouTube channel. Of course, you can chime in on Facebook and Twitter, or you can search at our homepage at critshappen.com. But until we see you next time, we hope you enjoy all of your abstract and non-abstract games that hit your tabletop. Thanks so much for watching. Keep rolling those dice. We hope they're all crits. Thank you.